go to Google and type Rathod's IAS. Then you can see our website Rathod's IAS Academy. There you have to click on login or register in the blue color. So if you have not registered yet, you have to click on do not have account and fill the details. So after once you have login, click on the courses. There you can see course list. And in this course list, you can see wide range of courses. Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod's IS classes. Today in this lecture, we are going to see current affairs of 3rd June 2022. So prelims is very, very near, right? So only one day is left. So please be focused and please try to revise the topics that you had done in this year. Okay, so in one year. So how you prepared? So try to revise important topics. So revision is very important, okay, especially before your examination. So I wish you very all the best for the students who are going to appear this year prelims. So now let's try to see here the first article. So first article it is regarding the removal of its special status. Okay, this article which is mainly talking about special status of Jammu and Kashmir. So first of all you need to know which are the articles of our Indian constitution which are mainly talking about the special category status of Jammu and Kashmir. So there are two articles. The first one is Article 370 of Indian Constitution. Next one is Article 35A of Indian Constitution. To understand this article now, you need to know some background. So what is a background you need to know? So due to, due to dilution of this articles, Article 370 and Article 35A of Indian Constitution, which mainly done on August 5th, 6, 2019 and government came up with this Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act of 2019 and it bifurcated erstwhile state, okay, erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir into two union territories, okay, which are the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and next one is union territory of Ladakh. And this Jammu and Kashmir unit letter which is having legislative assembly. So now what happened? There are wide range of protests and violence which is mainly seen in this Jammu and Kashmir region. So if you're talking about this article, so recently here nine civilians had been killed in targeted killings. So we are seeing there is targeted killings. They are mainly done by militants. That is seen from past 22 days in Kashmir. So from past 22 days onwards, we are seeing there is a targeted killings by militants, including even Kashmir pundits, including even Kashmir pundit employee. So these Kashmir pundits are Hindus. And not only this Kashmir pundit, okay, but also even school teachers, Hindu school teachers from Jammu and Kashmir, and even also bank manager from Rajasthan, they were mainly killed. So this mainly triggered a wave of protest. So that mainly led to protest in this valley region, especially from this minority Hindu communities. So what happened now? You are seeing there is a terrorist violence. And apart from that, there is difficulty embarrassment, which is mainly shown by pundits and as well as Hindus. So because of this protest, which are mainly seen in this valley region, again, we can see there is a reversal there is a reversal of gains towards peace and as well as reconciliation that we are doing in the last decade onwards in this Jammu and Kashmir region. So now this valley which mainly welcomed subtle, which mainly welcomed subtle and as well as even slow return of these Kashmiri pundits. So these Kashmiri pundits, they mainly left this Kashmir because of increasing of violence and as well as targeted killings in 1990s. So what happened? So these Kashmir pundits, they are mainly returning to Kashmir because of some comprehensive policies of our Prime Minister, okay, earlier Prime Minister, that is Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. In 2008, he mainly worked on this returning of this Kashmiri pundits to this Kashmir region. And even he mainly came up with political outreach to stakeholders of this Kashmir political spectrum. And they also created some conducive environment and at the same time, they are also giving some permanent financial support to these pundits who are mainly returning to this Kashmir region. So, Prime Minister's package for return and rehabilitation of these Kashmir migrants not only offered jobs to the pundit youths, but even they came up with initial financial assistance 
that is about rupees seven point five lakh per family, and that also already increased to this twenty to twenty five lakh in three installments, and it is not a mere coincidence that 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 led to the uh, like uh, central government's push for altering of Kashmir relations with India, and even the central government came up with this termination of this. Jammu and Kashmir statehood and special constitutional status in 2019, but even policies they are implemented by the center regarding land and government job. So regarding this land and government job, central government came up with some policies they are mainly implemented, and they mainly perceived in Jammu and Kashmir as disadvantages for local people. For increasing the sense of alienation, and they are being exploited by the separatist and nationalist militants. And next one is a political backer terrorist, Pakistan backer terrorist. So here, what are the policies which are mainly implemented by government? For example, regarding land, regarding government jobs, they are mainly pursued in this Jammu and Kashmir as very much disadvantages to locals, and that also led to increasing the sense of alienation, and they are being exploited by the separatist and nationalist. Pakistan based terrorist so center must take the measures to ensure security of hindus and even migrant workers in the valley okay and first we need to think about fresh kashmir policy so government need to think with about this fresh kashmir policy and they need to create some space for this political dialogue as well so it seems that the dilution of this article 370 of indian constitution that does not lead to end of the problem but that led to beginning of some new challenges in this jammu and kashmir region okay so this is about this topic and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding gst revenues so yesterday we studied about one article regarding so how much amount of this gst revenues that are mainly collected in the month of may okay so first we need to know about that data and later on we are going to see about what is this gst compensation so this article which is mainly talking about this gst compensation so this article will be important regarding your gs paper 3 under your economy so now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail so if you are talking about context here here is here gst goods and services tax revenues in the month of may that is may 2022 Which have increased by forty four percentage. Okay, that is about one lakh forty thousand eight hundred and eighty five crore rupees. Okay, so here goods and services tax revenues in May twenty twenty two have increased by forty four percentage. And if you are talking about these goods, which are mainly imported, that mainly yielded about forty three percentage of higher taxes. So they are going to get forty three percentage of Higher taxes and receipts from this domestic transaction and services imports also increase at a similar pace. So there is increasing of domestic transactions, and as well as there is increasing of this service imports. Okay, that also increased in a similar pace. So apart from this, so this is mainly said to be only the fourth time. So this is said to be the fourth time here. That is this monthly, monthly GST collection, which mainly breaches rupees one point four lakh crore mark. Okay, since the start of GST. So here, if you are talking about the April month figure, so April month figure it is higher compared to that of this May month figure. So because there is increasing of, there is increase of tax payers, tax payers filings in their quarterly based taxes. and that also led to this revenue growth from domestic transactions for example you can talk about import of services and we can talk about outpace of revenues outpace of revenues from the goods imports after several months in may so as many states as for example if you are talking about karnataka maharashtra gujarat they also witness there is increased revenues There is increased revenues from these states like Karnataka, Maharashtra, and as well as Gujarat. And we can see there is sustainable, or we can see sustained movement that is increasing of a momentum of activity that is mainly seen. Uh, okay. And if you are talking about one more thing here, so recently our central government, our central government, which made released states this GST compensation dues. 
so gst compensation dues of almost 87000 crores which is mainly released okay by the center to states so the move which mainly marks a shift in stance as a, as just a month earlier so the finance ministry had signaled that state dues worth over rupees 78000 crore which is mainly pending for the last 4 months for the last 4 months this is mainly pending of 2021 to 2022 Okay, so if you're talking about what is this GST compensation, why center need to give this compensation to the states? So if you're talking about this GST, it is mainly like a compensation. It is like a compensation based nature of GST. It is like a consumption, consumption based nature of GST and especially manufacturing states. For example, you can talk about Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Maharashtra. Tamil Nadu, they mainly had some fear of revenue loss because of implementation of this GST goods and services tax in 2017. So because of the central government came up with this compensation says or GST says it mainly introduced by the government and the money which mainly collected under this says that will be used to compensate the possible revenue losses that especially this manufacturing states mainly mainly faces. So, however, under existing rules, compensation says will be levied only for the first five years. That is, actually, this uh, GST which mainly imposed in this 2017. So, till 2022 here, this GST compensation will be given. That is, till July 1st, 2022. And this compensation says is levied on five products. And they are mainly considered as luxury. Okay, they are mainly considered as this luxury goods for example pan masala tobacco automobiles etc and if you're talking about distributing of this gst compensation so this compensation says which is mainly paid by center to the states and the calculation which is mainly based on the methodology which is mainly specified in our gst that is compensation to states act of 2017 and the compensation fund is also collected and it is also released to states every two months so for every two months we are going for releasing of this so any unused money any unused money from the compensation fund at the end of the transaction period that will be distributed between the states and the center as per applicable formula so if there is excess money which is mainly collected means so that money which is unused that will be shared between center and as well as state so now let us try to talk about what is the significance of this gst compensation so states they no longer have some taxation rights okay after most taxes which are mainly bearing on this petroleum alcohol stamp duty they are mainly subsumed under this gst so because of this that will lead to revenue loss for the state so here central will be giving compensation so gst which mainly accounts for almost 42 percentage of states own tax revenues okay and it also includes the tax revenues of around 60 percentage of states total revenue so because of this many states especially this manufacturing states they will become under civil strain so that mainly results in the delays in the salary payments, sharp cuts in the capital expenditure, okay, and also there is increasing of expenditure because of this pandemic inducer lockdowns. So in this context, your compensation is very, very important. And now let us try to see next topic. It is regarding India is trail to enhance defense ties. So this article is important from your international relations point of view, which mainly comes under your GS paper too. And here you have to look location of this Israel. So whenever you are studying about Israel, the one country that will, one thing that will become into picture here is Palestine. You need to also revise this Israel-Palestine issue as well. So number of times I discuss that topic. So please refer those topics once again. So if you are talking about context, it mainly says that India and Israel, they signed vision statement. So India and Israel, they signed this vision statement and they are mainly focusing to deepen long standing they want to deepen this long standing defense cooperation between india and israel okay so now let's try to see this topic in a very great detail and before seeing this i want to give you one homework so today your homework is so please refer 
India Israel relations and you have to see the areas of cooperation between India and Israel so this will be very important okay so now let's try to see details so if you see details it mainly says that so here India and Israel they mainly came up with a meeting between our defense minister okay India's defense minister and as well as defense minister from Israel and these two ministers they presented joint declaration okay joint declaration and this joint declaration which mainly marks 30 years of India Israel relations okay so this mainly marks 30 years of India Israel relations and they reiterated that commitment to deepening the defense ties so they are mainly focusing on deepening of defense ties so during the meeting with prime minister okay so here uh, sorry with the prime minister modi ji so they mainly focused on opportunity to invest further in defense cooperation so they mainly talk about investment in this defense cooperation cooperation between these two countries and they also came up with the building of shared values to contribute this global stability to contribute this global stability and they also discussed discussed regarding this government to government framework they discussed about this government to government framework they discussed regarding this military training and even technological cooperation and they also focused on this unmanned aerial vehicles and even defense capabilities as well so a letter of intent to enhancing sorry a letter of intent on enhancing this cooperation in the field of futuristic defense technologies they also exchanged they also exchanged between the two ministers so between the two ministers they also exchanged the field of futuristic defense technologies like how much uh, technology that we are going to get so how what is the updation that we are going to get that is uh, mainly given in this futuristic defense corporations or technologies so here here ministries they also discussed regarding a cooperation agreement so this agreement which mainly signed between india and as well as drdo indian drdo and as well as israel's directorate of defense r and d so in these areas they mainly signed some cooperative agreement so the ministers they mainly declared their intention to further develop defense cooperation in manner and they mainly focused on this technological advances and operational experience and they also came up with this india's extraordinary development and production capabilities as well so apart from this if you're talking about cooperation between the countries that would be in line with this prime minister modi's make in india vision okay they mainly focused on this make in india vision as well and this one is there is broad consensus between both the countries on this further strengthening of bilateral further strengthening of this bilateral strategic and as well as defense cooperation and the two countries they also came up with finalizing of this bilateral free trade agreement so regarding this free trade agreement number of times we had our discussion so let me know what is the meaning of this free trade agreement in the comment box so here if you are talking about the map of this still so this my, this colored part is called as Israel and here we have Egypt, here we have Zodan, here we have Syria and here we have Sea of Gilead and here we have Dead Sea and this red red color area which is present on the map it is called as Palestine. So here it is mainly sharing boundary with this Mediterranean Sea as well. And now let us try to see next topic it is regarding India sends senior diplomats to Kabul for talks with Taliban. So as you all know now Afghanistan which is under control of Taliban and now this uh, Afghanistan is also facing severe economic crisis and as well as humanitarian crisis. So mainly to come out of this crisis here India which is also helping this the Taliban right uh, Tali not exactly Taliban they are mainly helping this Afghanistan and we are mainly sending some food as an aid for this Afghanistan. So because as you all know there are number of projects in Afghanistan which are mainly done by India okay you can talk about salma dam friendship dam and you can talk about highways hospitals okay parliament building etc so this article is very important from your international relations which mainly comes in your gs paper too and now let's try to see context so if you see context it mainly says that india has sent a multi-member team of senior diplomats to afghanistan for the first time since the indian embassy in the kabul 
was evacuated in 2021 in august so in august 2021 because of this taliban they were mainly moved forward towards this kabul and they mainly occupied number of cities at that time like kandahar etc so at that time because of fear so we came up with the closing of indian embassy in kabul so now india has sent this multi member team and as well as some senior diplomats to afghanistan for the first time since indian embassy in this kabul has been evacuated in august 2021 okay so if we are talking about details it mainly says that during this discussions between india and as well as afghanistan so indian delegation he mainly held that taliban urged india to reopen its embassy in kabul and apart from that post 15th august 2020 21 so in the light of deteriorating security situation in afghanistan so it was mainly decided to bring back india based personals into this afghanistan but if you are talking about this local staff so this local staff they mainly continue to function and they mainly focusing on ensuring proper maintenance ensuring proper maintenance and upkeep of premises okay and one more thing here is ministry of external affairs said that the more food grains and as well as of medical equipment or medical shipments will be sent to this afghanistan in the coming months and government also announced that india has sent 1 million doses of this covid 19 vaccinations to iran for distribution among this afghan refugees who are staying in iran so apart from this the team also visited this habibia high school which has been renovated and assistance which is mainly provided by this government of india and they also talked about the sachimtala electricity substation which was mainly built by power grid corporation of india as well so these initiatives which are mainly going to be undertaken during this uh, next two decades then no taliban rule in it will be there in kabul and that mainly began in 2001 okay so this is about this topic and now let's try to see next topic it is regarding trade deficit so what is this trade deficit to cite it says that trade deficit widened to a record dollar 23.33 billion last month so if you see context it mainly says that india's mercantile trade deficit which mainly witnessed a record of about dollar 23.33 billion in may and the exports they mainly grew by 15.5 percentage to about 37.3 billion okay so there is increasing of exports okay so there is a grew of exports that is mainly seen on another hand the trade deficit is also widened okay the record here is dollar 23.33 billion in month of may so the previous highest monthly trade deficit was in november that is 22.91 billion dollars so if you see some details it mainly says that so goods goods exports shrank by 7.2 percentage from april dollar 40.19 okay 40.19 billion that mainly reduced to uh, that mainly led to or uh, resulting to increasing of this trade deficit so exports which mainly shrank by 7.2 percentage that is about dollar 40.19 billion that mainly resulted in the trade deficit for the first two months of this 2022 to 2023 and that led to widening of the trade deficit by dollar 41.73 billion and if you are talking about the figure of this april may 2021 it was like dollar 21.82 billion so while if you are talking about this petroleum exports so which has surged about 52.7 percentage from may 2021 and from electronics 41.5 percentage and from ready made textile garments it is 22.9 percentage that led to the export growth so if you are talking about may space which was very much slowest in 15 months and if you are talking about the trade deficit so we need to talk about trade balance so trade balance means nothing but what is the difference that is mainly seen between exports and as well as imports so whenever exports are main more means we can say trade surplus whenever imports are main more means we can say it is trade deficit so it is very simple okay so what does this a trade deficit which mainly signifies so trade deficit which is mainly seen means broadly it it mainly indicates two things so first one is 
the demand in this domestic economy which is not being met by these domestic industries or domestic producers and many a times we can say here so this deficit which mainly signifies is when there is a lack of competitiveness okay there is lack of competitiveness of the domestic industry so now let's try to say today's questions the first one is regarding tribal advisory council so tribal advisory council will be can be established either in the scheduled area or in the state which is having the scheduled tribes but not both yes and law applicable so this laws which mainly applicable in the scheduled areas uh, they mainly come under this fifth schedule yes this statement is also correct and next one is in india so scheduled areas uh, they are those which are mainly inhabited by indigenous community minority yes this statement is also correct so that option will be one two three and four and Indian constitution which of the following comes in the concurrent list that is trade unions one is a correct option and these are today's questions the first one is regarding Indian federalism and second one is, is regarding zonal council so please try to attend these questions and give me the answer in the comment box so now let's, uh, let me make a small announcement we in Rathor says we came up with this mains answer writing course and this is one year course so we are mainly focusing on our general studies along with current affairs in GS2 and GS3 and even essay and case study so this course is absolutely beneficial and you can join this course so cost here is 7200 rupees for one year okay and we also came up with this foundational course for this GS so that will be very helpful for the students who are beginners and even who gave their attendance so the details of these courses are given in our website and if you want to talk to me directly you can message me on this number 807 and you can also make a call on this number as well okay so uh, if you want to get the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel telegram channel link is given in description box and now let us try to see today's hindu newspaper pdf so in this today's hindu i i didn't uh, included text and context because already those topics we had deep discussion so now let us try to see these topics in a very great detail so first topic it is regarding two dead in fresh targeted killings in valley so what happened as i said there is increasing of violence in this valley region so recently there are a number of people who are the bank manager from rajasthan and actually this person who got married just six months ago and even migrant labor from bihar and some workers of this brick lens in Burgam, they are also uh, affected and they mainly came out of this danger with this with this with a little uh, injuries so actually here there is a continuation of this uh, targeted killings that are mainly seen and in this context a bank manager uh, a bank manager from Radisson he also killed here so in social media a little known outfit that is Kashmir freedom fighters okay Kashmir freedom fighters they are responsible for this type of attacks right and if you're talking about government not for relocation of this pundit and now so what happened here is the center it is now not in favor of moving this kashmiri pundits and hindus from the kashmir valley to this jammu as it would be repetition of the situation in 1990s so in 1990s when thousands of migrants they are out of the valley they uh, they mainly under this government watch okay so this is about this topic and you can refer this topic in completely and i discussed about this uh, diplomats to kabul and next article it is regarding india state relations i discussed that topic and if you move forward here in the city page you can see this one bird okay so this bird here is rosy pelicans so this rosy pelicans they are mainly playing in the pond in this national Ge uh, geological park in this delhi so here you have to know some facts regarding this uh, uh, rosy pelicans and if you move forward you can see some articles in the states page this is page number four here you can see community involvement aiding battle against this tb there is tuberculosis so this tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tubercula so if you if you want to know about the treatment yes treatment is present but it is a long-term therapy for example you can talk about dot therapy in this tb now if you are talking about this article which mainly says that whenever we are involving the community that mainly help to devise strategies and break some psychological barriers in the in the people okay so because of this whenever there is a community participation then only that so and so scheme will be becoming very much success so the project which mainly clearly shows that the community structures have mainly contributed to this uh, tv response okay in their three districts and their 
and and their initiative has been contributed to the 72168 individuals so here this article which mainly says that because of uh, uh, because of some behavioral studies which are mainly seen and they found that this community based uh, community involvement in any scheme that will be like a big and huge success right actually if you are talking about reduction of this tb goals in india so that is our target here is 2025 so state tb officer of this uh, assam department who mainly said that they are been working to reduce this tb infection rate from 217 uh 217 per 1 lakh in 2015 to 44 per lakh in 2025 so this is our one important goal and if you move forward you can see article regarding this udpi adani plant so here ngt slaps penalty on this udpi adani plant so here national green tribunal which may be imposed penalty on of about 52 crore rupees on this udpi power corporation limited because they mainly violated some environmental laws and that led to polluting of this uh, initial uh, that led to uh, that led to mainly increasing of this uh, pollution actually so what happened whenever there is a violation of uh, laws which are mainly seen that will leads to pollution of the surroundings so because of this here ngt which mainly gave some penalty for this uh, udp uh, adani plant that is about 52 crore rupees and if you move forward here you can see railway gave not to sia study in k rail okay here you not you need to know about this k rail k rail is nothing but kerala railway development corporation limited and if you move forward you can see in this editorial page there are two articles that i discussed and there is one article regarding india pakistan relations you can refer this article and if you move forward here there is nothing much important and here you can see one data point regarding india's domestic crude oil production has been consistent decline okay declining of this crude oil production that is mainly seen in india so because of this we are mainly dependent on the other countries okay and if you move forward here in this text and context you can see one article that is important regarding this pacific islands so in pacific uh, ocean we have some islands like micronesia melanesia and aslas polynesia so these are the islands which are mainly talked here so why there is a going uh, chi- growing food print of china in this pacific islands so recently foreign minister of china he currently said that in this eight day visit to this 10 pacific island countries he mainly co-hosted with the fiji and second china pacific island countries as well so if we're talking about what is significance what is significance of this uh, pacific island countries so these pacific island countries they are the cluster of the states they are mainly located largely in this tropical zone of this uh, pacific uh, region pacific ocean that is mainly between this asia australia and as plus america so what happens some of the important islands includes cook islands fiji kiribati republic of marshalls federated states of micronesia nauru noin palau papua and as well as tonga tuvalu and as well as vanuatu so these are some important uh, islands which are mainly present in this pacific ocean so these islands are divided based on the fee, uh, three physical and human geography into the three distinct characters like for example you can talk about micronesia melanesia as well as polynesia so as a result what happened so even though they are very very small in size so their exclusive economic zone it is very very big so because of this extent of this exclusive economic zone so china wants to especially uh, especially to come up with uh, some some other issues okay for example uh, we can talk about fisheries energy mines and other marine products so they can be taken and they can be exploited okay so this is about this topic and if you are talking about what is this uh, implications of china so china it recently came with a security agreement okay so recently china came with security cooperation in addition to the economic diplomacy with the pacific island countries in april 2022 Okay, and they mainly also signed some controversial things which are mainly uh, talked about uh, sharing, or uh, we can talk about economic diplomacy towards this uh, PIC. They also came up with some controversial security deal as well in the Solomon Islands. We discussed about this topic, and from Chinese side, they was leaked and as well as gained the attention of these leaders in this Pacific region. Okay, so because of this, this is very important. 
and next article it is regarding bihar government's caste count so in yesterday's lecture we discussed in detail regarding this caste count article and if you move towards this newspaper page there is nothing much important and if you see this 14th page you can see there are two articles were implanted the first one is india seeing a culture revival in since uh, 2014 so this is the thing which is mainly shared, said by our amit shah and next one is india still seeks on uh, linguist futuristic defense i discussed this topic and if you move forward you can see liquid mirror telescope in this devasthal so you can see devasthal it is seen in news where, so where it is located in uttar pradesh uttarakhand okay so here this liquid mirror telescope which is a 4 meter international liquid mirror telescope and this telescope which mainly saw the uh, which mainly saw the first light which mainly received okay uh, first light re recently and it also leads to gazing out from its surface okay so this is about this liquid mirror so this liquid mirror means nothing but it is like a 4 meter international telescope and whenever this first light which is mainly recently uh, which is mainly seen here it mainly leads to the gazing from its advantage okay so this telescope which is mainly starting at the sky over overhead and it mainly makes a sky surveys as well and will be also capable of obtaining of images as well okay and it is also helpful for mainly observing some phenomena which mainly happens in our uh, galaxy and solar system like supernova system okay and as well as presence of the space debris as well and even meteorites etc so for all these things so this will be very much helpful so whenever the light is there that will be refracted so that what happen so the image will be very much clearly seen through this a telescope and if you are moving on so in this world space there is nothing much important and in this economy or business page you can see one article regarding this trade deficit okay so this article it is very important from your upsc point of view i already discussed this topic so by this i'm concluding i hope you enjoyed this lecture so please subscribe to rathore's is academy and don't forget to like share and comment my videos and don't forget to enroll to the courses that we are offering in our rathore's is so thank you so much go to google and type rathore's is then you can see our website rathore's is academy there you have to click on login or register in the blue color so if you have not registered yet you have to click on do not have account and fill the details you have to give your name email id your mobile number and password and finally you can click on this register button and once your details are filled then registration will be successful and click on okay and come back and click again on login and register and you have to login now so after once you have logged in click on the courses there you can see course list and in this course list you can see wide range of courses so you can see indian his indian society is he sat at the international relations essay and if you buy all the courses then we will be giving access to all these courses like history economy geography and this is our mains answer writing course there you can see different batches are there and this is our prelims test series if you want to watch demo videos you have to click on play course and in history we will be having five modules so there if you want to see demo videos in that so and so part of history you can click on that play course and before payment you can see only three demo videos and after payment you can see all the videos will be displayed on the screen You will Hello be having students. settings Welcome regarding quality and My also speed. You can adjust faculty. according to Today, your the requirement. World history lectures, the most important topic history. in the world history of the UPSC and CSC exam that is the French next, Revolution. Let us try to see other subject, international relations. Click on play course, and the same thing that will follows. Before payment, three demo videos. After payment, every video will be displayed on screen. and you can click on the play button then full screen and then settings so this will be follows to all hello all welcome courses. to the lecture a very important topic we are going to cover up in today's lecture that is indo pacific every day in newspaper we are hearing this word indo pacific region and the important this is regarding polity and the faculty is shashwat rago ma'am
Hello and welcome everyone to Rath Horse IS. This is Shashwat Raghav, your quality faculty on this platform. We'll be basically covering our GS Paper 2 and we very well know in GS Paper 2 we have governance, constitution, polity along with social justice and IR. By me, your constitution, polity and governance subjects will be covered. In GS, in UPSC site for GS Paper 2, only the subjects have been mentioned, the governance, constitution, polity, but faculties This is about economy. So economy is taught by servants. So these are some demo videos you can watch like this. An economy Welcome is like 112 Sanis. hours of uh, course. Friends from this class on work. Hi friends, my name is Servan Kumar. I am your economic faculty. Welcome to Rathod's IAS. Friends, in this class, we are going to study about the gross value added. What is the meaning of this gross value added? Now, under this, we have three heads. Basic price, right? Factor. And next is science and technology. You can click on the video and you can click on play button and full screen. Welcome to Rathod IAS. Going to the DNA. That uh, kind of bank is called as a DNA data bank. So you need to create a DNA data bank at a national level, okay, where the information of all the uh, criminals, okay, all the suspects. Okay. So these are the number of courses that you can watch the demo videos and after once you watch the demo videos and after once you satisfied so click on the buy now button and after that you need to enter some details later on you can click on proceed and you can give your mobile number and also email id and finally you can use this razor pay payment system for the purchasing of these courses.